Well, here are the two rolls of nickels I'm going to go through. And I'll show you the ends so you can see. I mean, he doesn't look that bad. He looks pretty old. And then we got, that looks pretty new actually. And that one also looks pretty old as you can see. So let's tear in these bad boys and see if we can find any war nickels or anything worth keeping, shall we? So stay tuned. I'll be right back after these bad boys open and I will show you my stacks. Okay, and I got the two rolls of nickels open. As you can see, I'm going through. So that's the first stack right there, the first roll I opened up. Nothing th throws itself out at me on that one. But who knows? And with them like that, anything could be hidden inside there. And then, whoops, <laughs> well, I dropped a few, but there's the second roll right there. Got a little mark on that one, but that's no big deal. So let's see what we could have standing out at us. Hmm. We'll see. Well, my YouTube fam, this is the Nichols. Uh, as you can see, this this is the first roll. This is the second roll of Nichols with his ugly face on it. <laughs> I'm just joking, of course. But um, those are nickels that aren't really good, good for anything besides five cents. And then I got these two nickels right here that have different backs. They're commemorative ones. I think they're pretty cool looking, but I think I already have those two in my in my stash, so the, those are out of the picture. Then we got these two, sorry about the glare. This is my first roll, this is my second roll. We're gonna go through there, find uh, good dates, and hopefully maybe even a V nickel or a war nickel. We'll find out. So stick with me as I go through these and try to find some silver. Well, I went through all the rolls of nickels. Got all those out. They said these are the ones that just have the 2009 different backs. I kept those out for a reason. And I'll show you here in a minute. I'll show you real quickly here what I'm talking about. Okay. Look at that P right there. A little bit of shadow as you see it, but look. Doesn't that look like a double stamp right there on that P? And that 6 and that 6. Look at that. That looks like it's a double stamp right there on those. On right there. I don't know, so that D, but I'll show you the back. See, it looks normal, sort of. Sorry about the glare of my, my light sources. Monticello looks good. Darn that little scratch right down there, it's a big deal. But I try to get my light, light source up to help so it doesn't cast shadows. But still. Tell me that's not a double stamp right there on uh, P. Six, eight, I don't know about the nine, but it looks like a double stamp on right there. So that's a keeper. And then this one. I'm turn my price so you can see him better. I don't know. Let's see, what did I keep him for? Oh, see that die chip right there on the D? Sorry, right there, the D, right in the right edge of it. I kept him because that little die chip. He's a 1972. He's not in bad condition. So, if anyone has any ideas of 
this one. The one I showed you with the double stamp on the P8 and 6. I'd appreciate any information on that because that would be a great coin. That, look, you guys should see it even put your shadow. You can see the double stamp on that. Holy crap. That looks so sick. Those are my two keepers for the nickels. Now it's time for the dimes. <laughs>